It was a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an Illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Uh -huh. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. Oh. The Orb of Dominance. Whoa. Huh? Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the arch Illager made all bow before him. Oh no. And if they did not bow, they would fall. Wow. What is that thing? The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor? The purity of heart to stand against the arch villager's reign of terror. Oh my. Well, not that one. But maybe you. Let's hope so! Hello Zverd, welcome to Minecraft Dungeons! This has been one of my most anticipated games of 2020. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play it. It is a brand new Minecraft adventure, an action RPG in the world of Minecraft. And here we are, I've been waiting, wait, what's, if you, I think it's been about a year? maybe more since this game was announced, and I am just so very excited to get into it, and it looks like we get to choose our character here, or at least we get to choose our character's skin, and there are a lot of options. I don't see too many that I'm like, whoa, that's me, because <laughs> there's no zebra skins. Oh, I would love to be just like normal Minecraft Steve, but also I wanna like, Look at these other options, there's tons of them. But I would love to hear if you plan on playing this game. Like I said, I've been so anticipating it, so we're gonna be playing it a ton. I wanna play through the whole story and really enjoy it. Um, it should be really cool. It's gonna be very different from Minecraft. It's not really a building and crafting type of game. It's an action RPG, like I said. Also, there's some DLC skins. Interesting, maybe we'll get those at some point. You know what? I'm gonna kick it with Classic Steve. That sounds like fun to me. It just, it looks cool. Um, so it looks like I could uh, play with a controller. I'm gonna play with a mouse and keyboard for right now because I just think that these types of games are usually best with it. Uh, so we can switch our hero at any point. Oh, so we can have like multiple characters and like multiple profiles. That's cool because um, I think that we'll have like different classes and stuff. So accessibility, okay, these are all settings and stuff. So yeah, how do I play? Online game, I want it to be offline. I would like to play just by myself. Um, Okay, cool. I might take a look at the settings real quick, and then we'll get started with the game. Okay, so let's get started with the game. Um, I do not want to start an online game. I want to start an offline game. Yeah, offline game, that's what it should be. Offline start game. There we go, okay, weird. Uh, traveling to Squid Coast. Oh, I'm so excited for all this. This looks like so much fun. Um, wow. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. The game is so pretty. They really, like, it's Mario, Mar Minecraft, not Mario. Minecraft art style, <laughs> but it's just, it's just from a different perspective. The lighting is really cool. New objective, go to the village. So, oh, interesting. Is there no way to move with the keyboard buttons? Okay, so you move with right click. Find the object to follow the navigation marker um, to see your current objective. So, ah, here, you gotta follow that. Um, all right, can I go back? Okay, so this is like the ship we landed on. Interesting, so I'm like right click to move. I do have it set up with left handed controls, but for me it'd be more left hooved. So we'll see how that works. Uh, defeat the zombie. Okay, do I use my sword? No arrows. How do I attack? I don't know. <laughs> oh no, I thought it would maybe, oh, okay, so I right click to attack as well. Maybe I will change that, I don't know. Um, but it is very interesting so far. 
Uh, but yeah, we defeated the zombie. That's cool. So the same button to walk around is also the same button to attack. All right, let's go for you. Hiya. <laughs> so we took some damage here. We're at 92 health. Uh, what about this? Nothing? Okay. Oh man, the poor village. Totally destroyed. More zombies coming in. So right now we're just using a sword, but I think that over time we get new weapons and we can basically just explore different class types like that. Of course, there are other very popular um, action RPG games. Most of them aren't really, you know, E-rated though. So this has been really exciting for me. I love this genre. The one I've played a lot is Torchlight 1 and 2. Uh, arrow bundle, cool. So we can, yeah, now shoot arrows over this way. Okay, buddy, watch it. Oh, nice shot. Okay, so, ow, 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 I walked into the fire. That hurt. So I'm getting lower and lower in health. So it's supposed to go that way, which makes me curious as to what's this way. That's where I'm just trying to figure things out. Will there be secrets to find? Can I open doors? Right now, not looking like it. Um, but who knows? I'll definitely be trying to play this game as thoroughly as I can, see if we can't get cool stuff, and we'll just have some fun with it. I'm really looking forward to it. But for right now, uh, we got you over here. Let's back it up so I can use an arrow or two, because I, I still want to practice with that. That's cool. I'll end you. Nice. So everything's like a one hit takedown. And it looks like when we take out some enemies, we get emeralds for it, which is cool. Is that damaging me or is that just making me invisible? Interesting, so maybe I could hide in some bushes for some ta tactical attacks. So what's going on down this way? Oh, I pressed the inventory button. Oh, okay, there we go, gotcha. I need to be careful, I only have so many arrows, so if I could, maybe I should just use the sword for right now. But yeah, this might take a little getting used to. Like I said, wow, the Yellowgers are coming in. Um, it's not your average Minecraft experience, but that's what's so cool about it. I've always wanted them to do more with Minecraft than just the game. You know, just do, you know, Minecraft story mode and, and things like this. So we got bread and we got more arrows. So I don't know where the bread is. Maybe it just immediately, I guess we immediately consume it. Interesting, we can't hold it in our inventory for later. I'm sure we can make like potions and stuff that we already have one on the bottom here. Okay, so let's go this way. So we're still trying to uh, secure the inner gate. And I'm going to go down here. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, we got a big, uh, can I read the, the sign or the, no? Okay. Yeah, I can't like destroy anything else. Interesting. That was just, like a villager statue. What's going on now? Whoa, it's him! It's him, get him! That didn't work, ah! New jet to survive the ambush! Back it up! So he's there, I forget what his name is already, but he's just the main bad guy. Okay, what about you two? Whoop. Okay, not bad, not bad. So far the arrows are really helpful. Level up! Ooh, so how do I, enchantment point earned. Enchanting, every level up gives you an enchantment point, which are up, used to upgrade items. Open the inventory to try it out. Enchant gear, select an item uh, of your gear that you want to enchant. So I definitely wanna enchant my sword. Um, select enchantment. You can choose from randomized enchantments for every item. Select one now. So we can either do fire aspect, poison cloud, or chains. I'm curious about chains. Has a 30% chance to chain a cluster of mobs together and keep them abound for a short time. Upgrade tiers, one second duration. So let's go back to this one, poison cloud. Has a 30% chance to summon a poison cloud that deals damage to enemies in an area for three seconds. Okay, and then finally, fire aspect. Sets mobs on fire for three seconds, dealing damage over time. So I think for the chain, like, that'd be cool. Um, so we'll try that one. Very fun, so now I can, now with that upgraded a little bit, I can just send it back there. So I guess we'll have two more enchantments we can do with that one. Um, and I don't know what these are for. I guess we'll find out eventually. Um, but yeah, it's really cool, just the different things you can do in the game. Let's get up this way for right now. Anything like secret? That's what I'm still trying to find out. If I can find some cool secrets, I would be very happy. But yeah, definitely let me know if you guys plan on playing this game or not. I certainly think it's a fun experience so far. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. There we go. <laughs> I gotta use my sword a little bit more. Ooh, you picked up fireworks arrow. Artifact in inventory, you just picked up an artifact. Open the inventory to equip it. Equip artifact, right click the firework arrow arrows in the artifact category to equip them. Aha, so what does this do? Fireworks arrow. Puts a fireworks arrow into your quiver, the arrow explodes on hit. 42 range damage, 30 second cooldown. The, the explosive power of, T, of the TNT combined with the high velocity movement of an arrow, what could possibly go wrong? I know, right? Um, use the artifact. Now that the artifact is equipped, you can use it whenever you want. So I can just, one, two, and three. Okay, for me it's eight, nine, and 10, because I guess it's, you know, once again, it should be different controls because I set up the left-handed mode. Uh, shoot the enemy. You can blast multiple enemies with a single arrow when using this useful artifact. 
Okay. Well, for right now, I need to activate that. Ah! No, I wanted to use that against somebody. Okay. Oh, I see. I thought that would have a one-time use. No, you can use it as many times as you want, but it has a cooldown. That's cool. All right, so it's an ability, really. Okay, let's go for you. Okay, he shot me, I shot him back. Set up camp outside of town. Oh no, I missed out on that emerald. That's sort of a shame. But you can see stuff like the map as well, everything we've explored so far. Oh, I did miss something back there, didn't I? Um, is there any way to scroll through the map again? It doesn't look like it. Um, I'm pressing buttons to see if I can't just like move through the map. But I did miss like a tiny little sliver there. I don't know if it matters much, but there is like a, there's a box over here. I can't reach it. Hmm. Can't hit it with an arrow or anything. Maybe I'll learn like a jumping ability at some point. That'd be useful. Uh, for right now, let's get this way. I, I love the combos we can have with the bow and arrow. Just like boom, boom. Going real quick with that. Okay, so up this way, because I can't like break blocks or anything and like, you know, use those to build. It's not like traditional Minecraft, but we can swim. And once again, this is where we want to check out if there's cool things on the map to maybe see. Uh, right now, <laughs> not looking like it. But it might be true that we'll backtrack through these levels at some point, or maybe they'll combine into bigger things, who knows. But it's still fun to explore no matter what. I definitely like the aesthetic to everything. I would love to see somebody remake this in normal Minecraft. <laughs> That would be fun to explore, too. Anything of interest down this way? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. I'm going to vigorously explore everything, if I can. Like, there's actually a lot of stuff going on around here. It looks like I'm supposed to go that way, so I will be going all the other ways first, just to see. There's a sheep up there. Hi, sheep. He's just grazing. I can't get up there? Oh, that's sort of a shame. Hmm. The music is really cool so far, too. But once again, we have like more things, but I can't like quite interact with them. I'm having a feeling that like we, we, we might wanna circle back or it might give us the option to. Anyways, let's go over here. What is this table about? Victory! We were too late to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. Weird, so I just never found the ability to get that one chest. But this might be the type of game where you're supposed to revisit levels. You know, like with the Lego games, you're supposed to come back to them after you have new abilities. Uh, level complete, Squid Coast. Interesting. So, <laughs> oh, that shows my username. Um, 378 damage done, uh, 17 damage taken, projectiles hit 63% and mobs defeated 100%. So we got a chest for completing everything. Ooh, and what's gonna be inside? Uh, fishing rod, the trusted companion of any true adventure, the fishing rod is useful for more than just fishing. To camp. Oh, what is this about? Oh, so, ah, look, now we have this camp and this is just where we were a moment ago. Um, we could go to mission select. Can I go, ah, look at this. Is that what this is? Yeah, very, very interesting. So, Squid Coast is where we are right now. We could choose to redo that level since it is the tutorial. Um, No, wait, I wasn't done, there we go. Uh, one new mission, view next. That's at Creeper Woods default. Oh, we can choose our difficulty as well. So we're on default difficulty, which enemies are balanced for our first playthrough. Very few enchanted enemies. Rewards are average. But then we can improve things to get better rewards. We can't do that unless we defeat the Arch Elder. So I guess we have to beat the game and unlock the harder difficulties. There's adventure. Enemies are hard to defeat and hit hard. New enemies and enchant new enemy enchantments. Rewards are better. New gear and artifacts. And there's apocalypse mode. Enemies are ultra roof beefy and ultra punishing. Lots of enemies with powerful enchantments. Rewards are ultra good. Even more gear and artifacts. So it looks like it is following the trope that a lot of action RPGs do, which is the game gets better with each playthrough. So if we enjoy our first playthrough, definitely let me know so that we know to uh, play through more. Um, with that being said, that was a lot of fun. As you can see, this is uh, Creeper Woods, but we can also select this one. It doesn't have any other difficulty things, but Creeper Woods, default one, I can also choose higher levels of difficulty. And as you can see, I can get better power. So recommended power is one and that's my power, one. Normal difficulty, gear and artifact power on through eight. Gear drops, unknown, unknown, unknown. Interesting. So, all of that is so cool. And definitely, we'll have to figure that out some more. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna go into Creeper Woods. Start the mission. <laughs> this is so cool though. I'm really enjoying the game so far. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, it definitely is gonna take some time to figure out, but now there's gonna be creepers everywhere because obviously, Creeper Woods. Uh <laughs> I'm a bit worried about that. Oh, it's in the By middle of the nighttime. Decree, 
All free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Oh no. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers. Or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. So let's definitely do something about that. The last thing we want are those guys is being sent off to who knows where. I mean, she did say where, um, but I just, I don't want that for him. So let's go and save him. I wonder if there's a way to walk any faster than this. I don't think so. But yeah, I love using the arrows like that. But I don't need to. Oh, so there's strength. Was that like a critical hit maybe? I guess so. Uh, let's go over this way, boom. Use that a little bit. Nice, oh, was that an apple? Yes, it was. So I just, like when you take that, it immediately picks it up. There's like no way to put that in your inventory and I just used a potion, which luckily is not something you have to make. It goes on a cooldown. Interesting, so there's a lot to figure out there. Uh, oh, we got some pork. Once again, it just starts regenerating. Can I start using arrows from here though? Wow, look at this, easy peasy. All right then, okay, whoa. Let's go ahead and use one of our moves. Nice, oh, I didn't hit him though, <laughs> that's fine. This is so much fun. I mean, it's really, really easy right now, and I think that's supposed to be so that you can get used to the game. So once again, that's a strength potion this time, and, ooh, shadow form. There's gotta be a way you can pick these up and save them for later. You would think, but maybe not. What's over this way? Once again, let's check our map to make sure that we're not missing anything. Ah, oh, this this looks like something you can throw like a bomb at and like explode and find like a secret room or something. Maybe, maybe not. But that's what I'm off to find and figure out. So what I'm curious about then is, I, I could keep eating this stuff, I really don't need to. Um, if I use one of these. Oh, that does, does that count as an arrow? Oh, I think I got an achievement or something. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, so this is where I really should have saved all that stuff. Oh, that guy has a steel helmet, so he's a lot more prepared. Just trying to dodge around a little bit, and that seems to work quite well. Awesome, so what is this about? Oh, had a bunch of emeralds in it, nice. And what is this way? Oh, there's a little lake. Oh my, oh my, are we drowning? No, we're fine. <laughs> We're handling it like a champ. Okay, so let's go with that. Now this is where I want to, no, I guess it just like does not use any of your arrows when you use one of those, so that's cool. I definitely have to hold on to some of my arrows though because they're very, very useful. Oh, swiftness potion. Oh, that's cool. So I can like swiftly run around and knock all of you guys out. I feel like I haven't seen too much of the chain effect. Ow, that one hurt a little bit. But now's a great time to use that potion and get one of these. So let's save this poor villager that's all locked up. New objective, find the caravan. Hooray! Are you gonna follow me or anything? No, you're just gonna go, okay. Well, I'm glad you got out of there. This is so cool. Uh, let's go for you and you. But what is this way? Whoa, look at how much different, there's like a full diverging path here. And this is where I get very obsessive. I know with like Torchlight and other action RPGs, when you do this, I wanna go down every path and find every little piece of reward possible. Okay, nice! Oh my gosh, there we go. Boom, see ya. Now I gotta be careful here because they are everywhere, but we are swift right now, so I definitely wanna take that advantage. Um, definitely, yeah, go for that guy. Turn it back over there. And I like my potion and everything too, so we should be fine. Okay, start slicing and dicing. <laughs> They're running from me, they know I'm too strong for them. Nice, okay. Uh, so this way's a dead end, and it makes me very curious as to like what could, aha, we found a chest. Hunter's armor. So let's go ahead and equip that. Hunter's armor, plus one health, plus 10 arrows per bundle. Ooh, plus 30% range damage. So this is the, the armor for me. Hunter's armor may not be the fanciest gear around, but it will stop a blade. So we can equip that. And how do I equip? Ah, so let's try this one as well. Oh, you know what? Get over here. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, all right, Um, ready? Yeah, that was so much fun. I just, I love this game already. I'm obsessed. So it looks like there's still a couple of ways we can go. We got some food here that I would definitely grab because I'm actually taking a little bit of damage now. And we have ourselves some emeralds over this way. So I will definitely want to replay that tutorial at some point to get some stuff. I think that that was sort of the thing. I could probably replay that one level now with the fishing rod. Okay, so that does damage all on its own. 
Okay, but it does have a cooldown. It's not a very long cooldown, but it is indeed still a cooldown. So we're back up to 85 arrows. Cool. So I don't know if we ended up going the correct way towards the caravan or not. It looks like we didn't actually. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. So wait, there was one more area. Okay, with some emeralds waiting for us. Right over here. Boom. So back over this way, we have another one of these. And what is with this like little redstone puzzle? Aha! Whoa! And what's in here? Ooh. Oh, what is this? Hold on, why won't it let me go in? Uh, ah, ah, there we go. What in the world is going on in here? New location. Level unlocked, creepy crypt, oh, this is creepy. Uh, ah! <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm not ready for any of this. Whoa, I have TNT over my head? What, do I have to do this within a certain amount of time so I explode? I don't know. There we go, I did it, um, shadow brew. Oh, I got a treasure for that. What did I get? You picked up fox armor and also more shadow brew. What is with the TNT over my head? Achievement unlock, fancy that. So that was cool, I guess I have found some kind of dungeon. I don't know what the TNT means now. Um, it's still over our head. Whoa, 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 whoa! How did I do that? I don't know, but that's in everybody flying. This is so cool. So you, I will have to go back to explore that other side at some point, but I'm pretty sure this is all extra. So we'll be able to explore this, find more stuff. Aha, so now I'm understanding it. I'm piecing it all together now. Um, with this TNT, I'm definitely going to want to explore around and see if I can't toss it at anybody. Anything fun in here? You would think. Oh, here we go, whoa, whoa. Got a chest with a new sword. You picked up a sword. Is that better than my current sword? No. Um, but it does have different available upgrades. 10 to 16 melee damage, 10 to 16 melee damage. Also, we have our fox armor, which I guess would go over this. Um, so this has plus 15 health, 30% chance to negate hits, plus 20% weapon damage boosts, boost aura. Okay, health potions heal nearby allies. So this is good for multiplayer. Ancient villager tribes created this armor to honor the fox, who is a great and agile warrior. So you can tell it's a better piece of armor in general because it has the green arrow, and you can see other pieces of gear have the red down arrow, so that's how you know. Um, also, we can upgrade things to make them even better eventually, so also keeping in mind the different possible, oh, and I can salvage things for emeralds, so if I have extra gear I wanna turn into emeralds. I don't even know how to spend emeralds at the moment though, so it's not that big of a deal. Very, very interesting. Oh, look at this whole group, this whole group that I can just toss. Okay, that's a little too far though. Um, Unfortunate, but I still made it work, except for this guy. There we go, swiftness potion. That's working out quite well. So let's keep it moving. Slice and dice this guy, level up! Here we go, enchantment point earned. And what about these? There's gotta be something I can do here, right? Maybe it's just a dead end? Yeah, there are some things like this that are a little odd. It seems like there might be something there, but there's not, it's just a creepy, creepy little, Grave area. So what about, there's two ways to go. I'm supposed to be going that way. So let's try this way instead. Okay. That wasn't too bad. This is a lot of fun though. I'm really enjoying this game. We got some more armor there and some emeralds. Uh, so let's check that out. Maybe I should wait because it looks like the game still plays when I have my inventory up. So I do have to be very careful of that. Sweet. Now let's fight you. Oh, just try to be careful now. Okay, so far so good. And that looks like everything around here. What if I use, yeah, the fishing rod on that doesn't really do anything. Note taken. So how many how many emeralds do we have? We have 110 of them in total. Hopefully that'll continue to grow. So what is our new armor? We have fox armor, this is wolf armor, which is definitely a little bit less than some things, but it has plus one health, 20% damage, weapon to boost, weapon damage boost aura, which is about the same that this has. Um, but you can see that this is orange, which I think is unique. This is a common that's unique. There's different levels of rarities then. And health potions, okay, so it's basically the same thing but worse. Many warriors wear the heads of wolves into battle to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. So I'll probably not use this one, but I can upgrade anything. And if I wanted to upgrade something, I probably want to do the bow. 
Um, so I never actually read the description. A simple but well-rounded piece of weaponry, the Hunters of the Pumpkin Pastures say that the bow doesn't let you down, unlike other trinkets. So with this one, I definitely want to either do Fuse Short, Every few shots has a time charge that explodes on a second after impact. One second after impact. Um, dealing 100% damage to nearby mobs. And then there's also power. Boosts, uh, power boosts arrow damage. So I could either do a direct damage or I could do some explosive stuff. Seeing how I already have the firework, this seems more effective to me. Um, so let's do a 10% damage boost right there. How cool is that? Also wanted to see, what is, I don't know why there's a picture of Steve on the top right. Um, but clicking it does nothing. So let's go back this way. And I guess this is the exit. Where are we now? Oh, we're over here. Interesting, okay guys, okay, hold on. There we go. <laughs> so that was really cool, but I'm getting really beat up now, so I gotta be careful. That was awesome. Oh, oh, did they give me a, an ax? They did, and I also have TNT if I need it. So let me go back a little bit. Grab all that. But that's interesting to know. So it looks like we really did explore the correct way. So this is where we were before. So we actually don't have to go any farther back than that. What is that noise? I don't know. Creepy though. Something like, like a haunted owl. Oh, there you go. Enjoy that. Oh no, they moved out of the way of it. Darn. <laughs> so what else is going on around here? But I, I love how we're getting experience with every takedown. So it wants me to go that way. So I don't want to go that way until we're done with everything else then. Because I'm going to thoroughly explore everything. That's just, that's just my goal. Hope you don't mind. So we have 223 arrows right now, and I never checked out the axe. What I do want to listen for, that person's right there. If I, okay, so characters do move when I'm paused. Now that I know, I will just keep that in mind. What's down this way? Nothing. <laughs> it is weird how you'll have that, like these little openings that just don't have much in them. Um, anything of interest down this way? Not really. It might just be that like the levels are randomly generated or something like that. I don't think so, but it's possible. Some action RPGs are like that. I prefer it when they're not, personally. I like a, you know, a very crafted adventure when it comes to games like these. But that's why I'm so excited about this coming to Minecraft out of all things, this genre of game, because I feel like this is one of my favorite game genres, you know, but not many people played it because a lot of the games in this genre are pretty mature for some reason, even though it doesn't have to be. So this is like a really cool change on that and it's really fun so far. Anyways, another dead end. It makes me think like maybe there's like a secret I've yet to activate. Maybe I have to hit something or there's a button or maybe it's just a dead end. I hear the, the howls of a wolf. Anyways, this might be a good chance to look at our ax. Um, so, our current thing does 10 to 16, this does 13 to 20, and also has a spin attack move. The axe is an effective weapon favored by relentless vindicators of the Arch Illager's army. So this is interesting, and this also has Poison Cloud and Prospect to find more emeralds on fallen, ally, fallen allies, fallen enemies. Um, the only problem is I only have two weapon slots. Well, actually, really only one. I can't put it over that. So I could try it here. And the thing with this is I'm guessing it's a slower weapon, so it might do more damage, but it takes us more time to swing it. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay, so let's keep going. I wish there was a way to keep the map on the screen. Also, it does tell me how many secrets and chests I found on the bottom left. Gotcha. That's gonna drive me nuts trying to find everything. Uh, but I will certainly give it my best bat. So let's go uh, up this way then. But there's gotta be a way to get the map on the screen. There's another dungeon. Cool. So we will certainly do that. So does this count as a secret? Okay, first get rid of you. I don't think so. But hey, maybe this is just a better weapon for right now. I'll hold on to my sword though. Nothing over this way then. Okay, so let's try out another dungeon. So it might be a bit of a longer episode, you know, to start things off today. I might start doing one level at a time after today's episode, but just to, you know, celebrate the launch of the game. Wanted to do two missions. So we got this green candle. Not really doing much though. I hear spiders. We have not fought any spiders yet, and here they are. Wow, and they fight back. Oh, we get plus 30 strength there. And there's a lot of ways to go. Creepers, no! Do not want those to get close to us. That will not be good. Okay, got some illagers over this way too, and they also have the axe. Whoa, that was like a wizard. What's with this? Nope, okay. <laughs> It just seemed like there may be something over there. So sometimes there's just enemies down uh, a certain way. There's not exactly uh, any kind of formulated secret, but I'm sure that can change. Whoa! 
Yeah, that was good. But there's still more. This is also a dead end. But look at this. We get ourselves another chest, and that is going to have a, another common sword, swiftness potion. This guy's trying to attack me. Not happening. Thank you. So that got me another chest, but I think it was also another secret. Interesting that there's just like a grass wall there. I wonder if we'll eventually be able to get a shovel or something and be able to destroy certain things. It shows you that there might be a lot of replayability to certain levels. Okay, this creeper's gotta go. Um, that wasn't too bad. So these moves are really satisfying and fun to use. That is for sure. Okay, just trying to destroy everybody before they explode. Can be tough, but it's doable. So what's with this area? Not much. Okay, note taken. We're halfway through level three. And also, what is, I'm trying to find, um... oh, I have a dodge. Okay, I was like looking like, what is that on the, on the, on the bottom screen there um, next to the map? It's a dodge, so if things are looking a little scary, I can dodge out of the way. I definitely need to get used to all those different buttons. Um, what was on the floor over here? Aha, an ax again. Is that better than my current ax? You bet it is. Um, so let's um, equip it, there we go. Don't you dare. Okay, pretty good. So, whoa, there's our spin move. I think there's only a chance of that happening. So pretty cool to get it figured out. Okay, so that's everything this way. We're slowly regenerating some health. We can grab this TNT. I'm having so much fun with this, though. What a cool game. Here you go. Please actually explode some of them. Oh, got rid of the spiders, maybe? Yeah, awesome. All right, that was maybe a little too much just for those guys. But we have over 300 arrows now, so I really don't have to be worried about using too much of it. I'm going the wrong way, though. See, I'll have to use that dodge every once in a while. Okay, I'm sure enemies are going to start getting more difficult eventually, and when that time comes, uh, that didn't really do much, okay. Um, when that time comes, we will have to uh, probably use a more creative combination than just throwing arrows out constantly. But for right now, it works quite well. So yeah, we're at 150, 160 uh, emeralds. We can actually see that on the screen too. There's just so much to sort of figure out, but I feel like we're getting there pretty well. Okay, you know what? Nice, so they were just all bunched up there. Let's go this way first. I don't think anything there will disappear, right? Well, actually, maybe it will, so let's be careful about that and actually grab some of this, because they dropped some more armor, I think. Hunter's armor, that's not what I meant to do, but if it works, it works. Yeah, there's quite a few ways to go here. Uh, nice. Nothing too much about this one. But definitely gonna pick up that TNT and just sort of see what's around. That's not what I meant to do, but if it's what happens, it's what happens. Okay, well at least got rid of one zombie. And we get a lot more emeralds here, so that's something. So as you can see, if you truly try to explore every single corner, these levels can go on for a while. Cause the first level plus all the tutorial, like the first tutorial and all the explanations of everything, that took about 15 minutes. And this has taken even more than that, it's already taken about 20 minutes, so, I think. Uh, okay, so, I, and luckily we have enough health that we can run through and beat people up that way. That's a tough skeleton up there. There we go, we got him, just took a couple of tries. But even just finding enemies, even if there's no loot around here, that's still pretty good, in my opinion, because obviously we're gaining experience from that. They still have the chance of dropping items, uh, not as much of a chest, but obviously, to some degree. Go, got it. So we're doing quite nicely. Wonder who we're gonna find around here. Haven't found any like boss fights or anything just yet, but I'm sure that'll happen sooner or later. Let's go ahead and do that. Cause we're running into these skeletons that have armor on them a lot more often now. Which isn't too big of a deal. It just, we gotta keep that in mind that more stronger enemies are becoming a lot more common. Oh, I see Mr. Zombie. Can't hide from me. Oh, here we go, here we go. This guy's gonna be tough. But we got him with the spin move. And there's a chest in here, all right. Oh, is that a, okay, I thought it was a giant creeper. So we got some swiftness potion there, some extra emeralds. Uh, I'll toss it over like that. Hope it gets at least a creeper, it didn't, but it got that guy. So yeah, I did wanna see. We found another chest, we found another secret, I think. 
So we're getting closer to completing everything. That's all that there is that way. Okay, I definitely wanna pick that up. Got that swiftness potion again. And then there is just some emeralds over here. Wait, oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> it took a second. So this is the last room of this dungeon. What are we going to find? Uh, just more zombies. Okay, so this one was a little different. The other one had like an entrance and an exit. This one was just one big dungeon with one entrance and that's it. So I guess at this point, I just gotta turn around and go the way I came in. Yeah, that's a little weird, but hey, I'll work with it. It's very creepy. <laughs> I wish there was some music here to lighten the mood a little, but there's not. Yeah, let's keep running. Do I walk slower? Yeah, I think I walk slower after I dodge. That's a trait I have to keep in mind. Let me do that one more time. Ready, dodge, walk a little bit slower, but then it restores. Then I go a little bit faster. Yeah, for sure. So keep that in mind. If you dodge, you'll be able to you know, jump out of the way of maybe a, a fierce attack, but then you might be a little bit more vulnerable if you're moving slower. So you probably wanna follow that dodge up with a pretty strong hit just to take out whatever is hitting you. Oh, <laughs> apple. I'll take that. So with, I feel like it's so weird because you can hear like some jingly sound effects, but I guess it's because of this treasure we found. Gotcha. So there we go, there's another dungeon explored. I'm gonna head out now. If I can, there we go. And see what else we have. Uh, we gotta go down this way. So this is the main path finally that we're figuring out. And I feel like the chances are we might still miss some secrets. I mean, we only need to find one more chest and one more secret. So maybe we can find, I really would like to 100% this area. That would be cool. Oh my. Um, there's a creeper down there. Maybe I'll get rid of him right now if I can. Okay. Yeah, you, that noise is just walking through these guys. It doesn't seem to do anything, but it is interesting. Maybe it will do something at some point. But we got him. And it seems like there's actually a good chunk of stuff to explore around here. Let's first go down this way. Oh, did I take fall damage? I don't know. Once again, a weird amount of nothing around here. Which makes me think that maybe like what enemies show up and what chests show up where is maybe random? Cur could certainly be the case. So what's with this giant creeper? It's just a rock? If you say so. Maybe I should, no. Okay, that would be cool though, if you could find secrets that way. Okay, let's get you. That's easy enough. So this is the only way to go. We have thoroughly explored everything. I still don't like how you can't, oh, the little cow. I don't wanna hurt the cow. I don't need him for anything. I don't need him to survive, so why would I do that? And is there, okay, I thought that was a sheep too. So this whole area is very open. Oh, there's a sheep, <laughs> so cute. No, no, excuse me, buddy. There we go. I'm supposed to be going up that way, though, so I'll keep looking around. We'll see what we can find. I hear what sounds like. Okay, there's a, uh, no, I didn't mean to, I'm sorry, sheep. I was trying to attack the other guy. That's what happens, I guess, when they're hanging out with the wrong crowd. Uh, What's going on down this way? Anything interesting? Not looking like it. Um. So, yeah, let's, ah, okay, maybe that was for the better. There's mostly only sheep here anyways. So many little sheep. Okay, bu buddy, watch it. I'm going for you. I am starting to, you know, work through my uh, arrows, so I do have to be careful about that. I was hoping there'd be something I could get out of all of that, but no, just sort of this decoration. You gave me a lot of emeralds, though. Appreciate that. I know I'm pulling up the map a lot, but it's pretty necessary in this game, it seems, so far. Gotcha. Got some food for that. Nice. Ooh, did we get a level up? Yep, we are level four. Extra enchantment point earned. Maybe I wanna save up to two this time. We get more wolf armor. I don't think I need it, but I will certainly take a look. There are enemies all over the place. And what is this about? Just like a nice little lake out here. Can I like stand on the lily pads or anything? I guess not. Okay. And what about up here? 
Ooh, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. But we're still, you know, trying to get to the caravan. This level is definitely a lot more jam-packed than the tutorial, which makes sense. We're just trying to figure out how to play the game with that one. Ooh, TNT. Oh, can we fight the bats? I suppose not. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> that was getting a little crowded. So I definitely want to turn it around so that I can try to find more stuff. Because there's certainly some bits I didn't explore. Over this way. Ah, what is this? Got some extra emeralds. Not much more than that, though. And then just some extra water, I suppose. Nice little dock with it, though. Oh, let's go fishing. Yeah, does that work? Oh, now I'm curious. No, really you can't fish in the water? <laughs> Out of all things, you cannot do. You cannot fish in the water. Okay, well, note taken. Also, I never went up th the stairs here. Maybe this will have something for me. Or maybe it won't. You never know, oh, okay, this is actually the way I'm supposed to go. So is there anything down this way? No, okay. So still not finding that last secret and the last chest. Which, you know, they're probably one and the same, but it, it does get me a bit worried. There's more bats and stuff. But there's still more to explore, so it's, it's not game over just yet. No need to get worried. Okay, here we go, ready for this? Nice. Okay. Figuring the game out, though, has been super duper satisfying. I wish I had another one right now. Let's get you over. Luckily, our axe can do a lot with the zombies. The zombies are definitely the easiest enemies because all they do is walk towards you. They don't even like do much. Anything over here? Not really. Hmm, the music is getting more intense though. Wow, there is still more to this level right now. Oh, there's a nice little well. Can't get any water from it or anything. What was with that? Yeah, there's like a little, you see that little square? Huh. Can I get a better look at that? That's the weird thing, I don't see anything. I'm not sure what it's trying to point out. Maybe like, weird. Uh, I'll try looking at it from this angle again. Nope, nothing like secret over this way. Ah, oh, I can fall! What? Oh, and I got a little thing there. Okay, oh, I only have so many of those. Look under my health bar, you can see there's three of those. Why can I fall off there? Can I fall off here? That's weird, I don't know. Um, I'm not gonna jump off again, but I will try to... No, wait, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe at some point you like unlock the ability to fly or make bridges or something insane like that. Who knows? So there's another dungeon. You're kidding, there's so many of these. Wow, that's a lot. Um, oh, but we got a lot of them. Okay, so I guess there are some spots where you can fall off and take some fall damage. So you just have to be careful of that. I will certainly go into this dungeon though. In just a moment. Let's grab these emeralds first. Oh, there's a little pig with a chest. Oh, do I have to fight the pig though? I'm so sorry, Mr. Pig. Uh, whoa, whoa, I'm stuck. Uh, but we got some wolf armor. Was that our final chest? No, it wasn't. It's still five out of seven. Weird. I'm pretty sure that's a chest, but okay. Anyways, we're gonna turn around and I'm gonna go into the dungeon. I also wanna see, do we have anything that's better? Oh, we have a level, or not level seven, but seven damage sword. Uh, let's try that out then. Um, this armor is not better, but it is rare instead of unique. Um, plus 12 health, 10 arrows per bundle, 30% range damage. Uh, interesting, for sure. My inventory is filling up more and more, so I might have to you know, start looking into some things. I think that I might wanna save my uh, points though until I can upgrade again. Because once you choose an upgrade, it sticks with it. So I could do something here, like stunning, a uh, chance to tem temporarily stare on, stun enemies. But I don't know if that's something I wanna upgrade if I might just end up replacing the weapon later. That doesn't seem very productive. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Gotta be careful when we come back out there. Ooh, supplies. Bread and arrows. What else is in here? Got some extra emeralds. So this area is quite simple. Can I read the books or anything? And still not the chest. So there are a certain kind of chests, I'm pretty sure, like whatever like golden chest we can find, that's really what it means. 
The music is interesting, but then it goes away. Oh well, I guess it's just... Whoa, are these like spider eggs? No, not really, I don't know. Creepy. Hey now, watch it. Uh, yeah, can I dodge out of it? Sort of, kind of. Just gotta be careful of that. Ooh, some more armor. Oh, that's better than what I currently have. And then there's another chest. Six out of seven. Sometimes it counts, sometimes it doesn't. That's the kind of thing I'm just trying to piece together in this game, and we'll figure it out eventually. Over this way, though. Got ourselves an extra potion, and not much of anything else. Okay. Got it. Taking a look around, I'm not seeing too much. Free the villagers. Uh, oh boy. Okay, so we're really at the end here. We gotta free all those villagers. Well, first let's like take out all the enemies, I think. Wow, whoa, whoa, <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I can see there's like little caravans just like this. Well, that means there's still one more chest and one more secret to find. So I will definitely wanna figure all that out. That did not get you, darn. I wonder if the enemies are restoring. What if I, well, if I save a villager, will they join me? Maybe, maybe not. No, he's just gonna disappear, isn't he? Okay, so we've we saved one of them. That's a lot. That is a whole bunch of them. Um. Okay. Ooh. Got them all at once, though. I definitely want to get you because you are boosting them. Hmm. And what's going on down here? I got myself some emeralds. Thank you. Ooh. 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 What is this? Wait. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. I am so very confused. That like made grass pop up. I don't know what this did. <laughs> I stood here and I, I don't know if this grass was here before. It was a little weird. Maybe there's more than one of those to hit. I'll look around for sure. Um, Right now I'm not seeing too much, but certainly I'm sure something will pop up sooner or later. That's a lot of enemies. There we go. Okay, doing pretty good right now. Definitely get rid of you. <laughs> And what about over this way? Aha, supplies again. Thank you for that, so I get more arrows, more, but I'm at 434 arrows. Isn't that crazy? And the level still goes on after saving these villagers. That's also crazy. So I still have the swiftness. Make the most of it. Oh no, not the cow, I'm sorry, cow. The cow does drop health though, so that's good. So it looks like I've gone mostly full circle here. There is still some stuff to find over this way. Hmm. But it doesn't, once again, doesn't seem to be much. Isn't that weird? So I'll go and save this last villager now. I didn't know if the level would like end when I saved them all, so I was a little bit hesitant. But there we go, new objective, find the exit. So I don't know what's going on with that one thing that I stood on and nothing really seemed to happen. You know? That's so weird. But uh, we'll just run over this way for right now. And try to stand here again. Okay, definitely not much. <laughs> but I tried. Okay. Let's go here now. What was that noise? What, what in the world was that noise? I don't know, I just heard a big clung clang noise. Maybe it was just a, maybe it was just this. Uh, that was all right. <laughs> oh, we'll get the swiftness potion now. So, I'll swing at you, and you, awesome. So far, so good. <laughs> okay, so we're stacking up quite a lot, but there's nothing over here. Gotcha. Because we're gotta be pretty close to the end at this point. All right, we got a sword there. That's not as good as the one I currently have. <laughs> okay, we gotta keep that in mind then. Uh, there's so many enemies everywhere. Most of them zombies, just like a full on zombie infestation. But it's just so exciting what this could mean for Minecraft, you know? Like what is next after this? Will we see a new type of game? You know, that's what I'm really excited to see. And that's what I'm so happy about with Mojang is that of course they're keeping things going with Minecraft, but they're exploring their horizons in other ways. And that's all I want about any game company, is to keep exploring and trying new things and seeing what you might be able to come up with. 
All right, so we got some TNT here. I'll definitely use this against the next big group I see. But there's gotta be something interesting over this way, right? I guess not. <laughs> there's gotta be something. Oh, that sounded like a wither. Not a wither. Um, no, is it? No, not wither. Um, oh, did that open it? No, I wish I could turn the camera. I don't think there's a way to do that. It sounds like a gas, that's what it's called. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if we'll end up going to the nether in this. I can only imagine we will. That'll be crazy. So many different biomes we can explore. This is gonna be a great adventure. So let's hope for something over this way. Not really. <laughs> okay, okay. One of these days we'll find that final chest and that final secret. It's gotta be somewhere, right? Anyways, running back over here now. We got a little sheep. Oh, I'm sorry, sheep, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm really not seeing much, though, in terms of secrets. Plenty of enemies to destroy, though. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, let's just slice and dice. New objective, escape creeper woods. I've been trying this whole time. My main goal is to just get out of here. Uh, nothing over here. I don't think. Interesting. What about on this side? Nothing, <laughs> okay. Oh my, oh my, now they're popping up out of nowhere. I don't like that. Okay, ready? <laughs> nice, I love that move. It's my favorite so far. Oh, good reach with that too. Okay, so where does this door lead? Victory! These villages are free from the clasp of the illagers. All thanks to you. What's weird is the map said there was more stuff after that, so maybe we really can return to these levels and do more soon. But for right now, we are traveling to camp. And level complete, Creeper Woods. Mobs defeated 99%. I did 12,000 damage, no players got downed, and we hit 76 projectiles. So I guess like the other 24% um, missed? I don't know, we'll get a, a, a chest out of that. And when we get inside, we get boots of swiftness. Boots blessed with enchantments to allow for swift movements. Useful in certain uncertain times such as these. Cool. So how do I equip those? Just like that, oh, they go down this way. So I can activate those and move a little bit faster. How useful is that? And we also have a lobby chest. Uh, you found a chest with 50 emeralds. Well, thank you very much. And there's a blacksmith here too. Um, random gear, get a random piece of gear appropriate for your level, and that is, so I can get a higher level and maybe get something better out of that. So I'll probably wait, because I'm pretty close to level five. This has been a fantastic adventure so far, and I can't wait to see what's more coming in this game. Stay tuned for upcoming episodes as we explore more levels and have so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.